Are you ready to achieve a custom fit on your invisible wire extensions? Let's dive right into the wire fitting process then. We have made our invisible wire extensions with an extra long wire so you can adjust the size without a problem. You'll notice there are two beads clamped on the wire near each end of the extension weft. These beads are what hold the wire in place at the length you want. If you don't have enough strength in your hands to pull the end of the wire manually through each bead, a small pair of pliers can be used to loosen them. Let's start with one side at a time, adjusting the wire and bead. Then we will move on to the other side and repeat the process. Using my pliers, I will open the bead with a little pressure. Go slow with this step, remembering that you don't need a lot of force to free the wire. You also want to avoid damaging the bead by being too aggressive with pressure. Now that our bead is open just enough, we will loosen the wire loop by pushing the end of the wire back through the bead. Our wire should now travel freely through the middle of the open bead. We want to keep the bead at the end of the wire that is closest to the base of the weft. To do this, keep the bead secure between two fingers. At the same time, pull the loose end of the wire with your other hand to tighten the slack. Once you've tightened the wire at the length you want, take your pliers and gently close the bead over it. Again, the bead should be secured at the end of the wire that is closest to the base of the extensions. This will ensure the bead is concealed best when wearing your extensions. You will notice there is excess wire at this stage, but don't cut it just yet. This excess wire is to ensure you have room to work with at the end of the process in case you adjust it too small. We will only cut excess wire after we have ensured the perfect fit at the end of this process. Moving on to the other side, we will go ahead and run through the same steps. Taking our pliers, we will open the bead just enough to create movement for the wire. Next, keep the bead close to the base of the weft between two of your fingers while pulling the loose end of the wire with your other hand to tighten the length. Once you think you have it where you want, close the bead over the wire gently with your pliers. Feel free to try on your invisible wire extensions and continue adjusting this final side until you have a secure but comfortable fit. Once you've achieved the wire length you want, you can now confidently cut the excess wire at both ends. Make sure both beads are closed securely without wire movement. And just like that, you have created a custom fit for your invisible wire extensions. This wire fitting process is only done once for each invisible wire extension. After this initial wire adjustment, you will be able to apply your extensions easily with a perfect fit. We show all the steps for an easy application and beautiful result in a separate video. For more tips and tricks on how to adjust your invisible wire extensions or to get help with any other questions you may have, feel free to contact us. Our friendly staff at Canada Hair and USA Hair are here to help.